So if you have a look now um, at the cell. I'm going to do a little thing while you're watching as well. I'm just going <laughs> to shape this. Okay. Can you see them yeah, closely? Yeah, so now they're now? moving. Yeah, well, they, they were completely static before. Yeah. yeah. Amazing to see them in such detail, they actually individual cells. It's, it's amazing, really, that um, that's, that's the individual items there that are kind of uh, making the difference. I'm Tom Gisby. I'm 36 years old. I was diagnosed about three years ago with young onset Parkinson's. We're at the Guy's campus of King's College London, and I've come to meet Dr. Susan Duty to talk to her about her research. Hello. We're going to come in and have a look at the cells, if that's all right. We put about 3,000 cells usually in each of these wells. Mm. So it's an awful lot of cells. <laughs> it's a lot of cells. We grow the cells up in these flasks. And what happens, they, we start out with a few, the cells split, populate to a point where the whole of the bottom of the flask will be covered in cells. We keep them happy by making sure there aren't too many of them in a, in a flask at any one time. But actually they're a bit like us, they like social interaction, so we, the cells need to be together to be happy as well. You're talking about the potential to be growing a cell in the brain that's kind of depleting in people with yes. Parkinson's, so that's, that's towards the cure, surely? The cure, I know that everybody who has Parkinson's, that is that is the key thing. That's what everybody wants, a cure. It's also what I think we as scientists mm -hmm. want, is a cure. You need to know exactly what's triggering, what's the cause, the fundamental cause of Parkinson's. So what we're hoping to do is to find a way to protect the cells in the brain that are affected in Parkinson's so that people can maintain good motor function, maintain other functions, good quality of life with just a very low dose. But it's, it's stopping the disease in its tracks and I think that's really, really important. A lot of people don't probably have a very good understanding of, of why, you know, why, why is it so slow? So it's better for people to have a realistic kind of outlook on it, without not, not being pessimistic, but you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we've all got the common goal. We all want the same thing. Um, dis we're all coming at it from different points of view. Some of us working hard in the lab, others coping with a condition that can affect your life and being, you know, as resilient as you can be to it and giving us the motivation, Tom, that we need to keep going. And also um, amazing from, from my point of view to meet the people who are actually kind of working at trying to find a, essentially things that will help me and people like me in the future. I think it's opened our eyes, really. Yeah. We've got to work harder. We've got to try our best to, to make, make yeah, your life as, as good as it can be, Tom. Mm -hmm.